What's up YouTube, Billy here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm thinking a one day project, something that's pretty straightforward and that's a hat stand. Now I could just use this styrofoam mannequin head and put the hat on that, but uh, it's kind of boring. And honestly, uh, it might come to life in the middle of the night and strangle me in my sleep. I, I don't trust it. So I'm thinking something a little bit more traditional. I did some research on hat stands. Pretty basic, usually you have some sort of, a, of circle or a sphere at the top, and then you have a stick and you have a base. I think I'm gonna start with making that, that sphere. Now, if you're a lather, you could lathe this at the lathe, but I don't have a lathe. I do have a CNC, and I could use the CNC to carve a half circle on that. So first step is I need to go find me a piece of wood that would work out for this, dig through my materials, and let's make us a sphere. To make the dome that the hat sits on, I grabbed this piece of oak. This is an off cut from a slab and it's fairly thick. It's probably about two and a half inches thick. And uh, I think this is a good one to do because it's got this gnarly crack down it so I can slice that off. And it looks like there's some mineral staining and there's definitely a big chunk of metal over here. So whatever I do with the slab, I would have to cut it up anyway. I got my sphere routed and it looks really smooth. Wow, that is super smooth. Okay, so let's see how it fits in the hat. I have no clue how it's gonna do. We shall find out. Oh yeah. You can see here, I got plenty of room in the hat and I could have made this a little bit bigger but I wasn't quite sure what size to make it. Never made one of these before, but I like it. And it's gonna have a little bit more uh, size to it once I wrap it with leather. That seems really good. Look at that, that'll work out well and it's easy to take the hat off. Next step with this is I need to make a base for it. And what I was thinking was barn wood. I got this piece of barn wood left over from whenever I did the barn hole, barn hole? Barn wood the barnwood cornhole boards. You can click the link up there to take a look at those. I thought this would be cool. It's got a bunch of like nail holes and stuff like that in it. And I kind of like the section from here to here. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut those off, use that section there. I do need to mill it just a bit to try to flatten it because it's definitely not flat, uh, but I don't want to lose too much of the character. Next step is I'm gonna go mill this up and get it to size. I milled up my boards. This is the one that I wanted, but unfortunately, after I milled it, I just noticed it's just too far gone. The, there's some really deep cracks that go all the way across. I could actually break it in half if I wanted to. I could fill all this with epoxy and stuff, but that's not what I really what I want to do. So instead, I used another piece from the same board. Uh, the top side I left a little bit rougher. I'm going to sand some of that down uh, because. I do want to see some of those mill marks on there. So I got the sander. I'm going to start hitting it with 80 grit, 120 grit. Then we'll go from there and see if I want to do more. Depends on how it looks. Okay. 
Finished sanding this thing, I did up to 120 grit and it looks awesome. I love this edge detail. Oh my gosh, that looks so, so cool. Now I was tempted to uh, not even sand it at first just cause it looked really good, but this came from a horse barn and you could tell it came from a horse barn. But now just smells like oak, which is awesome. I don't want manure smell on the hat. I'm gonna head over to the table saw. I'm gonna buzz the ends off to get those nice and clean cause before I just hit it with a jigsaw. And there is one crack right here that I wanna fill with some CA glue. And then we can start working on putting the pole in here or the stick in here that will hold the hat. All right, cut up the sides, they look really good. And while I was over there, I went ahead and cut the stick here that's gonna hold the, uh, the hat holder. So next step is I want to put this into this board. So I'm gonna find the center of it and then I'm gonna draw a square. I'm gonna go to the drill press and I'm gonna remove most of the waste with the drill press. I want to uh, inlay this down a uh, fairly good ways and then I'll come back with chisels and clean up the sides until I get a nice snug fit so that my stick fits into my base. And I'm also gonna do the same thing with the dome that goes on top. I put registration lines on my stick and now I can put those exactly with my lines on my base. And that will make sure everything is lined up the way that I want it. That looks pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that one. I haven't glued it into place yet, so it's just friction fit, but it is good and stable. Uh, I'm liking it and I can put my hat on here and it fits just fine. So that's cool. Now, what I'm thinking is I might end up trimming the base off just a bit because I don't know that it needs to be this wide. I wasn't quite sure how wide I wanted it with the hat, um, but so I might trim it off a little bit. Before I glue this into place though, I want to, oh, that's a good fit. Uh, I want to take this ball here and make sure that I, I round over the edges a bit. Um, they're still, uh, still a little sharp there. Do a little bit of sanding on it and then I'm gonna try to apply my leather. So I need to do some sanding. I need to take out all my leather scraps and see what piece might work best for this sphere. What shops complete without a whole bunch of just random scraps. This is all leather goods, fabrics. That was a roll of leather there. Um, felt. So I don't know. Find something that will work for this. Where's my sphere at? I like the darker leather. Looks kind of cool. I think I'm gonna go with this dark brown leather. I like the look of it. I have just enough that I, I think I can make this work. Uh, I want as least 
amount of wrinkles as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a hat holder. And we're not upholstering a couch or anything like that, but we want it to look nice. I will caveat this by saying I am not a leather smith, leather expert, leather smith. But I do my best. I've got a little bit of experience. I'm going to take this and just use an X-Acto to cut off this extra here so it's out of my way. So I'm going to apply this with some contact cement. And this stuff is super stinky. You do not want to breathe this. So make sure you are in a well-ventilated place and you have a respirator. Okay, now I am gonna do my best to try to roll this over so that I get the least amount of wrinkles as possible. Finished my sphere, wrapping it with leather, and uh, it turned out okay. Uh, not the best job, not the worst job. That's what's important. Um, and I do have a goal that I want to learn a little bit more about leather this year. So uh, I'm interested to see the end of the year compared to this project and see if I made any progress. So at this point, it's time to glue everything up. I did trim off the edges of my board and rounded them over. I have my uh, stick here. I cut a hole in my sphere so that my stick will fit through the leather there. So I'm gonna glue it all up. I got some high glue. Uh, just feel like high glue is the right glue for this project. It's all old school. Might as well use an old school type glue. I can't tell. Does that look straight? It's straight enough. The glue is dry, it's time to apply finish. I think I need to go with an old school finish because everything else is old school about this. So I'm gonna do some shellac. I really like to apply shellac whenever I wanna do something like this, which is kind of a one day project. I've done all of this in a day. So shellac will definitely help me with that because it dries in minutes. Shellac's really easy to apply. I have a video on how to apply shellac to your projects, so you can check that out if you want some more details. Actually, I have two videos. I have one on how to apply shellac, and I have another one on applying shellac mixed with oil. Gives it kind of a unique look. You can apply shellac a couple different ways. Um, a brush is probably the most common way, though I do like using a rag to do it. I'm gonna let the shellac dry for a few minutes. It's a beautiful piece. I really love the rustic charm of it. Some things don't have to be super complicated. They can be simplistic and yet still have some character. So after shellac dries, then I can put my hat on it and see how it looks. I think it looks really cool. I like the rustic charm of it. Works perfect. It is an awesome one day project. And what I like about this too is you don't have to make it form fitted for your particular hat. They're supposed to be a little bit smaller so they can work with any hat. So this actually might be kind of a cool gift idea for somebody that you know loves hats. So think about that. Well, I am glad I got to do this. Thank you for watching along with this build. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. I try to put out videos every week, sometimes more than once a week. So make sure you hit the bell notification so you know the next video that gets uploaded. Until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.